What's up guys, it's your boy Demont, <clears throat> and welcome back to another Epic 7 live stream. Today we're just going to be hanging out a little bit. Uh, we got long ass maintenance today. So we're going to do a little E7, uh, answer any questions you guys have, we'll talk, we'll discuss these uh, heroes that are going to be coming out, and then um, after that we'll do a Genshin Impact stream a little later. And I'm going to eat some goddamn food, because I'm going to get my meal in though for today. So don't judge me. But yeah. Here we are. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Alright, Billings, what's up, man? Josh Hughes, what up? Josh Tucker, what up? Mr. Double D, what up? Scholar, what up? Thoughts on rain? Mm. It's good. I expected more from him. <laughs> He's still good though. And he has high B speed, which I like. Uh, what happened now, Law? How about the art? Oh, his artifact's stupid as fuck. I, like, I don't, I don't even like. You can only activate it once per battle. Like that's, I'm like what? Okay. And then what? You just don't have an artifact. Like that's so dumb. Why am I crazy? You having a daughter, bro? Congrats, man. That's fucking awesome, bro. Congratulations. Are you ready, bro? <laughs> She's about to run your life, dog. Uh, Nani Batista, what's up? <laughs> yeah, you won't be ready, dog. Uh, Outlaw, just like, look, man, when she's born, dog, it's... I don't even know, man. You're gonna feel like the biggest biatch, let me tell you. You know what I'm saying? All, any emotion you ever felt in your life, you're gonna feel it, like, all at once. When you look into that little girl's eyes, bro. It's gonna, it's gonna change you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. <laughs> Shadow Blaze, uh, we're just ordinary people. Dude, we got some hours, dude. The maintenance is like seven hours today, too, bro. We got a long time. Big Melon, what up? Black, what up? Pato, what up? Does she take? I don't know. Outlaw, bro. It's, it's such a beautiful thing, though, man. But I don't know if this is going to happen to you. But, like, when my daughter was born, she didn't want to have shit to do with me until she was, like, two. And then once she was, like, two, because, like, before two, it was all about mommy, right? And then, like, once she turned two, um, then, it was, then, it, then it was dad's turn. You know what I'm saying? And then as she gets older, then she's going to become more like a daddy's girl kind of deal. Um, but uh, yeah, it's dope, dude. It's, dude, it's, it's such a crazy experience, man. But yeah, she's about to run your life, though. So whatever, whatever you thought was your life, that's, yo, that shit's over. I mean, there's a lot of people more hyped than Ray, but listen, guys, this, this is why I'm not hyped for Ray. I'll explain it. He's good. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. Like, he's, he's good. But at the same time, this is like, there's other healers that can do his job. Like, yeah, he's multi-purpose, but like, if you're starting the game out, early game, mid game, what the fuck are you going to do with Ray? Nothing. You ain't going to build him for Wyvern. You ain't going to really do shit with him. Like, that just adds another hero that you have to build. Right? When you probably don't even have no gear in the first place to do what? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Are you gonna go, go unless you're building for like Golem or Banshee? But nowadays, like people are two man and Golem, 
uh, 13. They're uh, already one shot at B13. So like, I feel like it'd be better. You'd be better off prepping for like a one shot team than building a safe team. Like you already have all the tools you need for heals. Are you gonna like go off and like build another healer just cause? Like for what? And you got Mola him, and that dude needs to be geared well. Like fuck that. How did I get my daughter into gaming? Just let her play, dude. I think the challenge for me in the beginning outlaw was I tried to like pick like yo this is what you're gonna play type deal, um, but then I learned quickly as a father is just like you gotta you gotta let your daughter just figure it out for herself. You know what I mean like um, women are strong they're way the fuck more intelligent than we are, <laughs> um, and uh, like you know she just she whatever she liked and then I just supported what she liked instead of me being like oh you should try this you should try that right. Um, Instead, like, kind of taking a step back as a parent and being like, all right, well, I support you. If you need my help, then I'll help you. Um, but I'm not trying to, like, force you to be a certain way type deal. And, she, you know, my daughter, like, kind of formed her own um, thoughts and, and views on what kind of game she likes. And I'm, I'm just cool with it. She likes completely different types of games than I like. And I'm all right with it. There's some games that we meet in the middle on that she likes to play and I like to play, but... It's not that common, <laughs> right? But I still support what she likes, regardless. That I let her play, and she, she's not really into anime, bro. Like she, she's a killer artist. Like she loves to draw, and she loves to play games that you have full reign, like full creative reign, where you can build stuff. Um, but like in terms of anime games, like she doesn't really like Japanese like anime like that. Like there's a couple of series, like she likes Demon Slayer, she likes My Hero Academia. Um, that's about it, though. Everything else is, she likes Minecraft and stuff like that, and like She-Ra, you know, My Little Pony, you know, shit like that. Girl stuff. If there's any dudes in here that like My Little Pony, I'm not knocking you, alright? So don't get all sensitive and shit on me. Yeah, man, it's, it's, dude, Outlaw, man, it's such a beautiful thing, dude. I'm so happy for you, bro. Like, it's, that shit, dude, my daughter, my daughter being born, like, literally changed my goddamn life, bro. I, uh, I'm, I'm super happy for you. Now, my 80, yeah, 85. Daughter 16, uh, one summer she got in the game and went hard on Skyrim, Stardew Valley. That's what's up, dude. Little Joe, thanks for the three dollar donuts. Three donuts, let's go. Leave the beard and the mustache. Why? Um, hey D, if they rerun the Summer Side Story, do you think there will be a possibility for a new Summer? Yeah, I do. That's another reason why I'm like, look guys, Ray's good. Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? Never did I say he was a bad hero. It's just, you're gonna go all in for this elf out. You know what I mean? Again, if you're paid to win, do whatever the hell you want. But you're gonna go all in for this elf out. Ray's gonna come out. There'll probably be some fillers. And then boom. Ray's gonna sit on your fucking bench for God knows how long. <laughs> EST, dude, 6 a.m. tomorrow, bro.
Uh, big chance, Big Mama. They gotta, they gotta give everybody an opportunity to get all the heroes that they missed. So any hero that anybody missed is definitely coming back, like for sure. Like there's no fucking way that SSB is not coming back. It just, it's just a matter of when. We don't know when. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Where am I from? I was born in Japan. I grew up all over the state stuff. I've lived pretty much everywhere, man. East coast, west coast, down south, everywhere. Am I still running clip dude? I don't I don't do arena. But uh but yeah, when I did do arena, <laughs> that's all I do. That's, I use <laughs> people in my guild used to make fun of me because my mentality is like if I can't cleave it, I don't want to fucking do it. So I literally cleaved everything. Both my guild war teams were fucking cleaves. My arena team was cleave. I just cleave everything. I ain't got time for that shit. <laughs> did you like moving around so much? Um, I don't really care, man. Like you know, I was a only child. And, you know, like, my dad went around or whatever, so I had to be, like, the man of the house type deal. So, like, when I was young, man, I learned to just adapt. I didn't really have time to be, like, oh, I wish I would have stayed here or stayed there, you know. I had to be a man, you know. And at, least, at least that's what my mom told me, you know, <laughs> when I was young. So, I just learned how to just roll with the punches, bro. I ain't care. And I think it's kind of affecting me as I'm older because I love just, like, going random places that I've never been. Like, one of my rules when I go on vacation is it's got to be somewhere I've never been. So, excuse me, keeps things fresh. I have no idea, Torex. Yeah, I didn't. Re I didn't really develop social skills um, until. Um, high school. Uh, probably like 16 years old, 17 years old. Cause like when I was a kid, like I was like that little kid that was like fat and played video games. <laughs> and girls used to be like, oh, that's your boyfriend. No, -uh, that's not my boyfriend. That's your boyfriend, right? No, I was that kid. And then uh, <laughs> it was funny, I played football and I lost a bunch of weight and I was like super fit. And then all of a sudden like girls were just everywhere. And uh, so it was definitely a new experience for me. <laughs> and then I got older. Um, and then I just kind of learned how to roll with the bunches, man. And like, you know, went to the military. That was a whole nother experience. Uh, became a bartender. That was a wild ass experience. And then here I am now, content creator, super nerd style. I played League for like a couple of days. I played that uh, Team Fight Tactics. That's about it though. <laughs> My body count pretty high ass. I can't do it. I can't even front dog. <laughs> I can't even front. It was like when I got into uh, social media, like it was really, really hard for me to transition to like nerd life. Because I was always, like, in the closet nerd, you know what I mean? I was never, like, fully embracing and shit. So we still used to, like, make fun of people <laughs> that were, like, all the way nerd. And so, like, when I uh, became a content creator for, like, creating, you know, making games and shit, I had to, like, make the shift all the way over to, like, full nerd. And I had a really hard time. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of ironic. It was, it was a trip, too, because I remember I was driving Lyft on the side, and uh, there was this chick, man. She was super bad. Um, her and a group, they were at a gaming convention, and I told her I was a YouTuber, and she got all excited, and she's like, oh, you're a YouTuber? And I didn't know how to respond to her, because, like, I'm like, this nerd ass. <laughs> I, know, I, I didn't know how to respond at the time. It was, <laughs> it was kind of funny. I, I think back to that, that moment all the time. It was hilarious, though. 
Well, yeah, Carl, I get that now. I just didn't know the error of my ways back then, you know what I'm saying? I was so caught up in, like, you know, being pretentious and, you know, worried about shit that don't matter. Yeah, like I said, this is me years and years ago, you know what I mean? But now, like, I've learned and grown, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, things, things are different now. But back then, like, I think about... You know, like who I was back then, you know, because I was like, oh, I'm a nightclub bartender. You know, I'm the shit. I need toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> like it was just, it was just different. Hey, birthday next week. 30. Man, you just a baby, bro. I'm about to be 3-5 next week, next Thursday. Hey, yeah, what are we doing for my birthday, man? My birthday is next Thursday. What fuck are we doing? What am I eating? Um, Some grilled chicken. Uh, some bacon. Ground beef. Yeah. That's it. Uh, this morning, I had a <coughs> blueberry, strawberry, and uh, peanut butter shake with two scoops of protein and some amino acids. And... Uh, after we finish this, about to fucking take this shot of apple cider vinegar. Mm-hmm. Well, I ever not in this game, dog. I'm filthy casual, dog. I had like dude, had like this life transformation where I'm just not attached to this gasha life shit no more, man. So I am super duper casual. Am I pulling for Ray? Hell no. Fuck that guy. Get this elf out, though. Uh, yeah, Arya, this is the first time. It's actually kind of crazy to me. Like, that's some big balls. <laughs> They're like, we're going to give you a one-week banner new hero, then drop a new hero directly after that banner. I'm like, what? I'm like, goddamn. The hell? Yep. It's only going to be a week, bro. So. I, um, yeah. Mm hmm. Ain't no milk in the battle green, bro. They're trying to take it all. You're trying to take all that shit before episode three. Little fuckers probably drop strays too. They're gonna be like, oh yeah, you know, a little filler banner, and we just want to take a minute to announce episode three. Strays. Or like fucking them uh what's her what's her face Mercedes or some archdemon. Um I'll felt it'll be out in twelve hours. Uh, Nolan, uh, the game you want to look for is Genshin Impact, bro. Mm hmm. All right, listen. Are y'all looking at me right now on the screen? I need y'all to look at me. That's some important information. All right. Christopher Anderson said, what's up, big dog? Uh, would you pull for... Who would I pull for if I only could be one elf or a haste? Uh, both, because haste is mystic bookmarks. Two different currencies. All right, listen. I'm blinking my eyes right now because I think that the uh, <clears throat> Genshin Impact beta could might be coming soon. M maybe. Depends on, you know, I don't know if they might be having one, but... Yeah. Blink three times. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> just saying. <clears throat> Is it one year anniversary uh, coming up? So, you know, for my read between the lines, people, I hope y'all got that. All right. For my people that can't read between the lines, y'all, I can't help y'all, motherfuckers. I'm aging, bro. I can't really fucking blink like that, dog. When I blink, it just look like I'm closing my fucking eyes. Um, two year anniversary is November. Yeah, you know, that beta that may or may not be coming, there will definitely be a video. Okay? Def definitely will be a video. Dizzy Bike and Soul Elfo. Uh, Red Hat, yeah, Eno, bro. Um, dude, like, I don't know, man. Listen, guys. I just want S Smilegate Super Creative to make one fucking OP hero. Just one time. That's it. One, one OP hero that comes out that's very like, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, get, yo. You know? Everybody get that hero. I'm tired. I'm tired of all these fucking scary ass, like, we're afraid to make a real hero releases. Ahmed, what does yesterday have to do with today? Are you going to play GG Strive? Probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I need a boundary pushing character. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Probably. All right, are you real? Take it easy, man. I gotta tell y'all, man, eating two meals a day, <laughs> this shit's challenging, bro. Like, well, really, like, well, it's really like one meal a day because I only have, like, hour and a half eating window. But fuck, man. And it's crazy, too, because, like, when I was busy trying to, like, be a goddamn uh, refrigerator body, um, I eat a whole goddamn large pizza, but now, like, I don't know. <laughs> this shit tough. I, like, I need my body to, like, hurry up and acclimate so I can just get this shit done every day. Or I'm just gonna start doing liquid. I'm just gonna, be, like, put a hamburger in the blender and just blend that shit. <laughs> just fucking drink it. Yeah, yeah, I like her artifact for PvE, for sure. Um, I just know... I just don't know if I'd use it in a PvP situation. Unless you're running like a team like multiple hunters or something. Or if like some crazy ass hunter came out that was supposed to be like a bruiser. And then you put the bruiser on like counter with like some fucking, you know, like with that artifact or something. I don't know. Can I ask the question though? Why is Ray's HP so goddamn low though? Can we talk about that? Man, that dude's about to get fucking clapped. Alright, I'll cleave unit is a unit that is everything. Am I intermittent? Yeah, I I eat within like a two hour eating window every day. Same time, typically speaking. Unless I sleep late, but then I'll just adjust. But, uh, well. Yeah. I'll have my first meal post-workout within like 30 to 40 minutes after my workout. It's normally just a shake, so I get all my veggies, vitamin C, all my vitamins, you know, macros and shit. Um, 
and then I'll chill for like an hour, and then I'll eat like the rest of everything that I need to eat, and I'll be done till tomorrow. Yeah, those people were salty as fuck, dude. I, I had to like go back and rewatch my my video, Nolan. And I was like, did I say that dude was bad or something? And then like I went back and watched my video. I'm like, what? Like, these motherfuckers salty as shit. Like DJ Bizarre. <laughs> oh, okay, man. If it makes you feel better, I fed a DJ Bizarre. Hope I include high intensity. Jeremiah, listen, bro. This is my first rodeo, man. I was a competitive athlete before. I got this, bro. My whole training schedule right here. All right. I do hit training. I just like to call it on Thursday. Cerise with Elf Elf Artifact. So, alright. Okay. I can see that. What was the life-changing experience? In terms of, what? Me disconnecting from, like, the whole Gasha experience? Is that what you're talking about, man? Um, what sport did I play? Um, boxing. I did boxing, CrossFit, uh, triathlons. Um... What else did I do? Uh, I said, yeah. Amado, um, you keep asking me the same question, but I'm asking you, like, life-changing experience as far as what? When I decided to stop, like, going, like, Gasha heavy, or stop spending money on Gasha games for real, or fitness, like, what are we talking about? I have 2,000 Skystones and about 44 bookmarks. Who the hell is this red character? Is it just a healer? Another healer coming out? Yeah, I ain't joining shit with y'all. <laughs> I'm pulling Elf on like 10 summons and then I'm logging the fuck out. Done. Done, bro. What changed about my Gasha life? I, um, I realized that I was using Gasha games, um... It's just kind of like a dopamine trigger because I was just addicted to fucking like gambling and eating food and getting fucking fat and shit. Um, so it was the way that I um, thought I was adding value to my life, right? To get that feeling of excitement. And then once I realized I was trying to control all my externals instead of the only thing I can control, which is myself, um, then everything kind of changed. So like I'm not... Like super hell bent like before like I had something to prove I had to prove to y'all like I was the shit or like I was in legend or why you should listen to me but I just don't give a shit about none of that anymore now it's just like share my experience with you guys have a good time hang out if y'all don't like it fuck it <laughs> if you get it you get it um that's kind of where I'm at now so like I don't care like if I summon a hero don't summon a hero don't really matter because it's, it's, it, it, it's not to me, it's just not something that defines who I am anymore, you know what I mean? So now I just play for fun. That's all. Greg, what up, man? Is YouTube? Yeah. you. I've been retired for two years, bro. Full time, baby. I even had to pay taxes this year. Fucking IRS. I 
I just answered that question, Amado. Change the numbers? No. Nah. I mean, in terms of money, no. Dude, I make actually more money now than I did when I was all fucking try hard. And uh, in terms of like money output, like I just have a lot more money now to just, you know, chill. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just fucking broke all the time. Spending money on stupid shit. Like, oh, triple S imprint. Fuck out of here. I was uh, infantry in the military. What I think about Elfo, she definitely could be an upper. I don't. It's not. It's not about cost, right? Um, it's about what's your objective. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, like if your goal is to, you know, whatever be the best there ever was, then you know, like you're not really thinking about it in terms of like how much it's gonna cost, right? You you gotta think about like what you need to do to get there. How much time is it gonna take? You know what I mean? The problem with that, though, is, like, in games like these, um, there's no set cost of how much, like, you'll have to spend. You know what I mean? So, like, you can spend 100 bucks, get the best gear in the game, and then call it a day. Or you can spend $10,000 and still not have shit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's just a risk. So, I mean, I think you just have to, you know, set your goal for whatever you want your stats to be. And then just grind till you get it. Hey, that's what's up, mascot. Um... Jabate sixteen sixty nine hit it right on the head, and that's you know that that was my thing too. Uh, I was trying to control everything, man. Like, what would people say about me? What you know? What what? Uh, how am I impacting the community? I'm trying to control all this like shit, dude. It was just stressing me the fuck out. And so like, I had to just take a step back and take responsibility for me, man. And like, uh, sitting, you know, I like I had issues dealing with like mild depression, like after I got out of the military. Um, and I turned to food, you know what I'm saying? Food was like my only, uh, safety net, right? Then I got into Gasha's right later and Gasha was like my, my release, you know what I'm saying? It was like the only time that like, I felt like that thrill, that rush and fuck man, that shit takes a lot out of you. So yeah. So now like for me, what's most important to me now is self-control. I don't give a shit about <laughs> controlling what y'all do like obviously i want to help you guys out if i can um but yeah self-control i want to be the best version of myself and maybe 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 some way shape or form help y'all like you know through leading by example not just like telling you like hey man this is how you should live your fucking life because i don't think that's the way to go about it send a love to mexico <laughs> mascot dude that's what i that's what it was, man. Like I didn't, I didn't understand how to operate at any other speed, dude. And you know, I just went through a lot of shit. And then, like, I just, dude, it was food, bro. I'd go to McDonald's, buy my bag of sandwiches, and then somebody would talk some shit to me and be like, "Oh, you suck, and you can't do it." I'd be like, "Fuck you!" And then my military mind frame would like kick in, and I have something to prove. But then the problem was, then after I proved it, I would have no motivation anymore, right? Because I wasn't doing make, making these changes for myself, you know. So now it's just about you know changing for me, and it's uh, it's been a hell of a journey. Let me tell you, this last eight weeks, fuck. You know the, the challenge though, guys, with self control is that you have to take responsibility for everything that you do. So like when something is fucked up in your life, you can't be like yo. The smile gate's fault. <laughs> you gotta be like, yo, that, yep, that was all me. I, I think that's the hardest part. How much free time? Dude, listen, man. With my job, dude, being infantry, like, it, it's just dependent, man. Because, I was, like, first I started on mobile fire teams. Um, and then I moved to convoys. So, it really just depend. Like, sometimes we'd get a call at fucking... Oh, dark 30 in the morning, you know, one o'clock in the morning or something. And then we have to go, uh, you know, deliver some material, whatever, for some whatever department and just be gone, dog. Or I'll be laying in a goddamn field, peeing on myself, setting up 360 security for seven goddamn days. Um, it just depends. Depends on what happened. 
what are some of my personal goals like uh right now my, my personal goal eric e uh over everything is when i wake up in the morning when i look in the mirror i want to be excited about what i see i want to know that i put in the time the effort on myself to earn my own respect that's that's it that is literally my only goal right now and you know from that big goal there's like a lot of little goals right so a little simple shit too you know what i mean like do the dishes when there's dishes in the sink you know like little stuff to just kind of practice um self-control right and just tell myself every fucking day like the way that your life is right now is because of the decisions that you made, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 I made them? Yeah, yeah, you made them. And then just, you know, conditioning that and just moving. And I found that, like, it's been a lot. It's been difficult, but it's been a lot easier because this time I'm changing for myself. I'm not changing, you know, for somebody else or some external because before like i'd have something to prove to some chick some you know some punk ass dude talking shit or you know whatever right but now it's like for me so i find it's a lot easier to get shit done when um when i'm my own primary focus right uh mckinney what up man uh thanks luck crazy stuff dude so the crazy shit happened to me in the military uh, one of the crazy things is, so we used to ride around these these Humvees, right? And these Humvees, um, so we have we had like a convoy formation, and uh, so I was on recon. So sometimes I was on soft top. Uh, other time, soft top just means like a regular, like no armor vehicle. And the other times, like you be in these Humvees, and these Humvees weigh literally like twelve thousand pounds. So like you're talking like you know two to three inches of steel. And they suck. You know, they're fucking horrible. The worst goddamn creation ever in the military next to the M4. All right. Um, <laughs> but uh, but uh, this, these, these up armor vehicles, right, when you see them, like you have this feeling of like protection. You feel safe when you first see them until you see one of them get hit by a goddamn RPG or some shit. And that shit like flips in the goddamn air like three goddamn times. And it looks like a goddamn lampshade flying in the air then you really don't feel safe anymore <laughs> but they have you wear these stupid ass helmets like so back in the day like we had these big ass the kevlar helmets right and like so we were like standard issue so like for these standard issue like you see these people like uh <laughs> wearing these big fucking helmets and you you feel safe right because you're like oh this helmet's gonna protect me until you see a bullet go through one of them goddamn things and it's crazy because the material of the Kevlar is thick enough to where it could potentially protect you from small arms fire, but when a rifle goes through that thing, it's like it'll penetrate the front, whatever the point of entry is on the helmet, and then it'll go a different direction. So you're fucked. Like you're just you're fucked. You get hit in the head, you're you're done, bro. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think the craziest thing in the military is like um, you learn how to differentiate between illusions. Of what you think is actually safe <laughs> and what is safe. <laughs> uh, uh, like it's I, but you know that's that's just on that side. Like I, you know, we had plenty of other good times too. But like my, I swear my military career was like half of it was drunk and the other half was in the field. Uh, so um, yeah. Great, <laughs> and see, that's kind of great. That's kind of what I'm struggling with now, because like I've been wanting to start this series to kind of like teach people how to like break into social media, and uh, you know teach them how to like start their own YouTube channel, man. But the thing I'm I'm, I'm struggling with is like, do I really want to like <laughs> invite somebody to take on that burden? You know what I'm saying? Because fuck, man, social media is not. It, it it's got a, it's definitely got its highs and lows. You know what I'm saying? Like. I don't know, like, I haven't decided if I'm willing to take responsibility for, like, creating that amount of pain level, uh, you know, potential pain level in somebody's life, you know, like, because in the beginning, yo, YouTube fucking sucks, dog. Social media fucking sucks uh, <clears throat> in the beginning, but later it's good, you know, so that, that's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of where I'm at right now. Our Vildred? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Dude, 
Dude, I'm telling you, man. Like, this... Fuck, man. This content creation game is no joke, dude. Like, it took me a minute, man, to really get used to, like... I remember when I first started, because, like... Uh, <clears throat> you know, somebody say some shit to me. I'm like, all right, motherfucker. What you... You know, what's up? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but online, you can't do that, right? So learning how to differentiate between uh, like neg ne you know like negative comments, constructive criticism, and uh, like things that can actually help you, and then just assholes was definitely something that I struggled with for a long time. You know, um, especially when I started, I was like, man, I'll fucking find you, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll figure out where the fuck you live, and I'll come get your ass, right? <laughs> and and like it took me a while to really uh like just get out of that mindset you know what i mean like uh that was like the hardest part for me like when i started i i just i don't think i was emotionally mature enough um in the beginning of my youtube career to really uh do anything dude i didn't even know how to do that and on that was just old school dog <laughs> I'd be like googling usernames and shit. <laughs> I remember this one dude was talking shit. I found out. I found out where he lived. He lived in like Jersey and shit. <laughs> I was like, I'm about to go out there and get this money. <laughs> then, like, as a father, I was like, because uh, <clears throat> as a dad, like, you gotta you gotta slow down sometimes. And then I was like, oh, I was like, dude, relax. <laughs> is it really is it really worth it, dog? <laughs> and I was like, nah. <clears throat> <laughs> so, I I don't know, man. It's it's I don't know. This is funny. I think about the shit nowadays. Like I look back on like the the stuff that I went through, like coming up, you know, in the game. But like you learn a lot of valuable lessons. I agree, probably a million dog. You know, probably a whole bunch. I don't know about. <laughs> yeah, great for sure. Yeah. And I, dude, I, I couldn't handle them in the beginning, dude. I just, I just couldn't. Cause like I was the dude that like when we went out, like we was like we was either leaving with some chicks or we was fucking somebody up. Like that was my mentality after I got out of the military. I used to get into fights all the time, and it wasn't until I got into boxing that like I kind of evened out my anger. Um, and that's just how I dealt with it. <clears throat> and then after boxing, it was just food, right? Just fucking depressed, eating fucking Twinkies and shit and large pizzas. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> so it's definitely something I had to learn over time. Well, I think, dude, I think she's good, man. I yeah, I don't think she's like OP yet, just because we don't know what her multipliers are. So like, I don't, I don't really have a strong opinion about either one of these fucking heroes until we find out like what kind of multipliers we're talking. Like, if Ray comes out and this fucker's healing for like thirty percent, are you fucking max HP and shit? Then yeah, that dude's busted, and you should get him. Or if Elf Elf's coming out just one shot and cats out the gate, no brainer, right? What kind of, oh, dude, uh, all kinds of pizzas, dog. Taco pizzas, meat lovers pizzas. Yo, there's this place when I was living in Montana at the time. It's called um, Stage Line. They used to make, like, these giant-ass calzones, bro. I used to just order, like, boxes of shits and just eat them. <laughs> I don't even understand why girls don't like me. I look like a fucking... <laughs> like I look like a goddamn sausage roll. <clears throat> Uh, what success rate? Uh, depends on the day. Tuesdays is like 80%. Wednesday is like 70. Thursday is like 90. You know, it just depends. Yeah, taco pizza, bro. If you ain't never had a taco pizza, you need to put yourself up on game. What gym equipment? Uh, this. Oh, yeah, I'll show you. You're looking at my camera, so that's my squat stand uh, there and my, uh, my bar. And then I have gymnastic rings there. Um, I also have like some, uh, you know, some of the little planche, uh, little bars, little push-up bars. I got a combat rope on my patio, and I also got an air assault bike as well. <clears throat> and I got bumper plates and all that shit, but just enough to do like basic powerlifting shit, gymnastic movements, pull-ups, you know, dips, ring dips, uh, handstand push-ups, um, my air assault bike, and then I go hiking on the, on the weekend. <clears throat> Can I farm every part of the game? Yeah. Probably not anymore, though, because I uh, stripped all my teams to make this stupid-ass Wyvern 13 team. Like, 
uh, when Weapon 13 came out. I never moved any of my gear back, so I'd say 90% of my heroes right now are stripped. What kind of girl do I like? I don't really have a like uh, like a racial preference. Um, I like intelligent, uh, you know, obviously attractive uh, women with humor. You know what I'm saying? Like chicks that chicks that can't hold a conversation or take shit too serious. I just can't fucking deal with them, man. Oh my god, I broke a nail. Life is over. Like if you get the fuck away from me with that bullshit. <clears throat> Uh, do I like my job of playing E7? Um, E7 is not really my job. <laughs> my job is making videos. Um, but yeah, man, I'm just counting down the days, dog. Because, you know, I still do my Epic 7 YouTube stuff. Like, I only play this game when I stream with you guys. So, uh, Genshin Impact. Um, closed beta might <coughs> be coming soon. <coughs> Um, so once the beta launches for that, I got to do that. I still got some other brand deal shit I got to do this month. Um, but yeah. That's why you date got nah, Yeah, nah, I'm good on that, bro. Um, you had me at taco. Yo, so, so picture this great. A taco pizza is basically like just, you know, like just think of a pizza and then they'll put like taco sauce and then they'll put uh, like taco toppings on the pizza and then they'll crunch up well most places I've eaten a taco pizza they'll crunch up tortilla chips on or like a like a like a tortilla they'll crunch it up like a fried tortilla on top and they put that shit in the oven like with the melted cheese over that shit bruh it's fucking phenomenal <clears throat> uh, I used to mellow uh, so D would you spend casually on Genshin Impact I haven't decided yet man to be honest I um I told myself, I was like, oh, shit, I'm a whale. Um, I think the approach I'm going to take to that game is, like, if a hero comes out and I want it, I'll get it. If not, then, yeah, I'll just keep doing me. But, yeah, if you guys, like, are in any type of, like, town, like, and you never had, never had a taco pizza, look for a restaurant that sells taco pizza. That shit is definitely an experience, for sure. Why did I stop? It was just too expensive, bro. Like, I was spending, like, two grand a month to play a game just to fucking like hope to get some gear fuck that uh no it's it's a different level gray like the mexican pizza from taco bell is definitely like uh a itch scratcher right you know what i'm saying like oh you know i'll try it's kind of like you know like a case of inverted quesadilla uh, taco pizza is a whole different like ball game, and once you have one, Gray, you'll be like, "Oh, that's what he was talking about." <clears throat> I am uh, more hips, hips and uh, hind parts guy. Uh, should we be expecting maintenance? Yeah, seven hours today, dude. As long as fuck, Chris Banner. Uh, uh, Black Desert, by far. If you you know if you want to be competitive, like you can play Black Desert free to play as fuck. For sure, but if you're trying to stay like top 100, it's gonna be real fucking expensive. <clears throat> uh, yeah, he put out a video, Alex. Um, I gotta check his channel again today, see if he put out another video. <clears throat> if not, I'll hit him on Facebook. Shit, I drank all my water before I fucking took that shot of apple cider vinegar. The bad life decisions we make. Fuck. Do I have any lift in here? Oh, thank God. Do I think Genshin Impact is it? Yeah. I think Genshin Impact is going to be better than any fucking mobile game out on the market right now. I did start playing that 100 Souls today. That one's alright. How do you manage gold as well? Um, every video after you made, uh, I just, I'm not spending it, dude. Because I'm not, like, again, I'm only playing it when I'm on stream with you guys. So I don't do shit off stream. So. <laughs> that's my E7 career, bro. <laughs> RNG's killing Epic 7. I mean, that's just these types of games, bro. It's not, it's not, it's not going to change. E7, yeah, you know, Anon, it's easy to say that when you haven't played the game. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you're free to have your own fucking opinion. But then when you play it, then come talk to me and say that same dumb shit. 
What mobile games do I play? I don't play shit. Um, I'm playing some games that I'm doing brand deals for right now, and then I play this one a stream. But I'm just waiting for uh, Genshin Impact, and then I'll be playing it a lot. But yeah, I don't play a goddamn thing. Also, like I'm pfft, video game free. <laughs> Like, listen, and I'm gonna help you out, dog. There's a way to go about things in life. So, like, coming in here bashing the fucking game that I love, knowing that I'm gonna be giving away keys is not a good way to go about business. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like common sense shit. How do you register for the closed beta? Um, when they uh, when they announce the closed beta, they'll talk about how to register, and then you could just go. Um, then of course, like they'll be giving content creators uh, keys and shit to give away, and then you can do it. What do I do for my free time? Read. Um, I read. Uh, listen to audio books. Uh, train. Work out. Spend time with my daughter. Uh, Netflix. Why am I being such a bitch? It's been, listen, man. Relax, bro. With your picture of your little kitty on the front. All right? The fuck out of here. <clears throat> hey, my man. Hope your day is well. Thanks for streaming for sure, man. Uh, I don't think so. Um, there was a post on the forums where they needed, um, where they, where a lot of people talked about like their, their different PC specs and it seemed like you didn't need nothing too crazy to play it on max settings at 60 frames per second. So, uh, beta, I don't, I don't know how they're going to, uh, structure the beta this time. They could do it on PC. They could do it on iOS. They could do it on Android. They could do it PS4. I don't know. Uh, once I get the details, uh, when the beta it should or should not come out, link in here, um, <laughs> then I'll, I'll definitely let you guys know. Oh, the game is beautiful. My my streams and stuff don't do the game any justice because at the time I was only streaming at like 3,500 bits. Uh, I just bumped my stream to 6K because I forgot to change my uh, stream settings. But yeah, you guys will see um, on the next beta. Like, the, or if you guys get into the beta, like, yo, the the um, the quality, like the visual quality of the game, it's just it's just out of this world. Yeah, I mean, I know, I get that. You know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying, but like, it's something that you gotta play. Like, yeah, the game looks good, but it's like, it's easy to bash a game from a visual standpoint, but you got no experience. It's like, it's like going to the club and saying all girls that are beautiful are stupid. Like, right? But you ain't talked to every single girl in there. That's all I'm saying. So like, coming at it, like with that standpoint is just ignorant, bro. Uh, Genshin Impact. Uh, can I grind on two accounts at the same time on blue stacks? Yeah Not on your same account though, but it'd have to be yeah two separates And am I am I gonna do co-op? I don't know man <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I want to play with y'all man. Y'all motherfuckers angry. Nah, nah, I'll do some co-op um, Probably not till later though cuz like in the beginning like you can get by solo Have I read the king killer nah why do I like Genshin Impact? Where you want me to start? <laughs> I mean, we, we already hit the graphics part. Um, but just from a gameplay standpoint, I mean, the big thing that summed it up for me, like why I really enjoy Genshin is just, it's because it's an enjoyable experience, right? Um, like, you know, I've been playing games, mobile games for fucking years, and they're all, there's just like a certain amount of pressure when you play mobile games, right? 
there's certain pressure to summon for heroes, certain pressure to compete. Uh, there's always pressure that you're getting left behind. There's just fucking pressure. It's just all pressure, right? And then when you do something, you don't know if it's going to work. And then if it does work, then it's just it's just fucking bullshit, right? Um, so what I enjoyed most about Genshin Impact is, is it was just enjoyable to play. Like, it's a game that, like, even, like, if I knew none of y'all and I wasn't a content creator and I was just sitting in my goddamn living room playing games, um, it's a game that I would want to play. Like, it's a game that I recommend even if you don't like Gasha games or you don't like anything. Like, it's an RPG experience that I would recommend. It, like, it feels to me like a AAA RPG um, just with Gasha elements and co-op. Like, it's just a good-ass game. I really enjoy the attention to detail that they put into, like, every little thing, you know? And um, I'm kind of like a visionary, like a big picture person and if they do this like i think they're gonna do it phew, dude they're gonna knock the shit out of the park bro like there's there's i don't I, I honestly even like at its current state like there's not a game in the market that can compete with it the only thing that other games have over it right now is that they have pvp that's it period like e7 game fucking touch that game uh like you, you pick the best gadget like best fucking mobile game like that you think is the best that shit doesn't even hold a candle to that game personally like, and that's just subjective. Like, if you like auto battlers, then you're probably not gonna like Genshin because Genshin is not auto battler, right? So, <clears throat> what audiobooks? Um, here, I'll tell you right now. Uh, I, I am listening to. Let me open up my Audible. Right now, I'm listening to. Um, so, I just finished Crushing It by Gary Vaynerchuk. Hold on, it's, it's giving me ads. Um, Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink, uh, Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins, and uh, The Laws of Human Nature by Robert Greene. Those are the three that I'm listening to right now. All this praise, yet it's submitting to E7 grind. Like, dude, how's it submitting to E7 grind? The game ain't even out yet, bro. <laughs> it's your whack ass jokes. <sighs> New hero they create. Uh, as far as mobile visuals, it looks good, but they're a game. Yeah, okay. Which one? Amado, I already answered that question, bro. You didn't ask me that question like six goddamn times, bro. And I answered it like 30 minutes ago. Uh, graphic audiobooks? Nah. I'm not, like, I like the audiobooks just for the, uh, just for the audio, right? Like, that's, that's the whole point. Like, if I wanted to watch like a video or something, then I would just do like YouTube. Do you need a traditional mic to talk on the laptop? I mean, unless... Unless you have a, lap, a mic built into your laptop, but built-in uh, mics on laptops tend to be kind of trash. Do I play real games? Yeah. I've been playing, um, what the hell have I been playing? Miss Survival and uh, Last Oasis. And then I'm waiting for Cyberpunk 2077 Dying Light 2. And uh, I think I'm going to check out New World by Amazon. But I don't know. Do I know any good? Yeah, dude. Just get a uh, Snowball. Uh, it's like 40 bucks, 50 bucks. Uh, snowball is a good starter. It just the only challenge with the snowball is it picks up a ton. If you have a bigger budget, like if you want to go like eighty dollars, you can just get like a, a Yeti, a blue Yeti, uh, really really good uh, condenser mic, and just get a pop filter. Call it a day, dude. Uh, both a sill. Um, there's just, uh, Kiosk, there's just no games that really have, like, grabbed me long-term, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
I try to I try to build my content around games at least that I think that I'll play for a while. It's just nothing like because what normally happens when I play PC games is like you play them for like a couple weeks and then that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm kind of mad I didn't get on the arc train because I put like two thousand hours in the arc, but oops. Uh, Overbuff, what's up, man? How would I play Genshin Impact? I'll be playing on PC and PS4. Uh, I'll play on my iPad Pro when I'm, like, not at the house. You can What? <laughs> Dude, I did not hear about that troll. That's crazy. <laughs> A console wheel? No. I mean, you asked me one or the other, but I mean, the reality is, is you're probably gonna get both, right, for exclusives? The big brain play is building a community around the game, getting them to like you, and then they won't care. Yeah, I mean, that sounds good. But until you do YouTube, like, you don't really understand how this shit works, bro. So, in order to do that, you'd have to establish a brand as a multi-game platform. Unfortunately, I did not establish my brand as that. Right, so I established my brand as Gasha Game Gambling Degenerates, right? So, you guys only care when I play other Gasha Degenerate games. <laughs> like there's a small percentage of people that will watch whatever I play um, But that's just not how I established the brand um, E7 discord is live streaming with orb nice Can you link accounts yeah, yeah your 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 account info is saved server side So you can log on to whatever you want to play with so if you're playing on your PC, play on your PC. If you want to go to the living room, play on your phone, you play on your phone. You go in your girl's house, need to take your phone, we should do it. Take a switch with you, whatever. <sighs> yeah, Subnautica was cool. Um, but like, you know, Subnautica for me, like I'll play through it and then it'll be done. And then we won't play it again until like DLC. <laughs> Um, how much work would it be to change my brand? Um, I think it just, I'm asking different questions now, uh, Brian. So, um, before it was like, when I first started YouTube, it was like, how do I help people make more money? Then it was like, how do I make money? Then I made money and it was just like, fuck, I'm miserable. Um, <clears throat> and now I'm like thinking about legacy. Like, you know, what's the legacy that I want to leave? Like. Is the legacy that I want to leave, you know, when I die, is it like, oh yeah, D helped save me a hundred bucks on Bologna, <laughs> or, or do I want to have more impact, right? So, I'm kind of trying to shift to more of an enjoyment and like, I guess, personal development, right? So like, I, I want people to be able to take something away from my content instead of it just being some fucking, yo man, spend money or, you know, or, or don't get the hero you want type deal, so... Um, rebranding is just consist consistent action, right? So I just had to have a direction and then just con continuously put out videos. Like I'm gonna lose subs or whatever, like regardless, like that's just what it is. Like you, you, it's attrition. It's just a law of attrition, right? You're gonna lose and then you just have to reestablish, right? So like when I switched from Summoner's War to Epic 7, I lost a fuck ton of subs and then everybody hopped on the E7 train and then it was back to normal. It just, just takes time and consistency. I'm not like I'm I'm not really that sociable uh offside of, outside of YouTube, man. Like so like YouTube, like you be when I was bartending dude, like I'd be at work and I like you know, I talk to chicks, set up dates or whatever and like but when I'm home dude, I'm you know, I don't talk to nobody, dog. So like I, I never really been the type of gamer to just play with people on my free time. <laughs> like yeah, it's just it wasn't me, like uh, I think that's one of the reasons why I like Genshin so much is because like I don't have to play with anybody to like get shit done. Like I can get it all done myself. 
No, I'm still gonna keep up with the E7 content. Um, it'll just be news and like hero updates. Definitely won't be doing like any showcasing or any of that stupid shit. And then like this wyvern grinding nonsense, that shit will go away. Uh, Legends reached out to me a ton of time, dude. Ton of times. So like, I don't know, man, I think a big part of this for me, like in the future of my channel is like, I want to play games that we can all enjoy together. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't want it to be <clears throat> based on like, you know, having a bad day if you didn't summon a hero and shit, like, or like you didn't get a piece of gear. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, like I'd like to have like when we live stream and stuff, like where it's just like a cool, chill, like just good energy vibe. You know what I mean? Like, I know bad shit happens. Don't get me wrong. That's life. But like I don't I, I don't want to I don't want my live streams defined by summon luck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, <laughs> dude? Their their marketing plan is so aggressive, Brian, and that's why. Like, dude, they fuck man. Their marketing team is disgusting. Uh, this is weird. The gap between 56 to 60 and 60 to 65 is like WTF. 56 is harder than... <laughs> yeah, this is crazy, dude. From what I hear, it's supposed to be going higher, too. No, no, we're talking about Raid Shadow Legends marketing. Because he was saying he's surprised that the game is so successful, but like, their marketing strategy is crazy. It's like they dump like a certain percentage of profits right back into their like their marketing uh, plan, dude. It's They're insane with their marketing. Yeah, and that's that's kind of what I'm looking at it too, you know, uh, Gray. So, um, you know, throughout my career, it's changed a lot, um, you know, because you know the goals, the visions have changed. Um, so yeah, man, it's just rolling with the punches is all. Like I love y'all, man. You know, I definitely appreciate the support. Like even the people that come here and just think that they can just say whatever the fuck they want, and then when they get called out, like they get all mad and shit. Um, <clears throat> It's just that, um, you know, like, I want to move to the next level. Not in terms of financial, like, uh, whatever. Like, the money will come. But just in terms of, like, fun. You know what I'm saying? Enjoyment. Nah, I'm, you know, I don't know, man. I, um, I, I do console gaming, but it, it's more like, um, it's more, uh, I don't know, it don't, don't really matter. You know, it's just like a game that I want to sink my teeth into. Like, Trials of Mana was a great-ass game. Like, I loved playing it. It was awesome. But there's no longevity. Um, I think the, the problem that I'm having is I'm thinking about creating content in the way that I've always created content. And, like, I think I need to shift my view. Maybe I just need to just start putting videos out just because. Like, oh, yeah, we're playing this today and just fucking put that shit out. <laughs> With, like, no goal in mind. I ain't here to teach you shit. We're just playing this game today. <laughs> so then then I could probably put out like fucking 30 videos a day uh, I I don't play seven deadly sense now warzone what's warzone yeah I definitely got some ideas uh, for sure yeah mate you definitely will because um, I'm trying to think of a way that I want to give my daughter some more space like on her workstation and stuff um, but yeah that I have in the future. Yeah, I'm trying to get into Instagram, man. I just don't know what the fuck I want to do with Instagram. I might just do, like, motivational shit. I don't know. How long before the new banner? You got... 11 hours... 15 minutes. Ron Gascon. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that'd be good for my business, though, because I'll be talking a whole lot of shit. <laughs> I'll be talking a whole lot of shit, dog. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is this game? <laughs> Who made this shit? 
<laughs> you ever played a mobile game before, motherfucker? <laughs> Is it actually? Yeah, dude. Seven hour maintenance, dude. It's a long ass maintenance. How close are you to biking, dude? Yeah, I think, and, and this is something too that, you know, I'd like to share with you guys. Um, if you guys ever get into social media, like, don't do it for the money. Like, for real. Like, you'll make money eventually, like, if you stick with it long enough. But, like, just go for fun, dude. Like, if you're not enjoying it, do something else, for real. Like, there obviously there's going to be parts that just aren't going to be enjoyable. Oh, fuck, I just wasted some sky stones. Um, but, yeah, do it for fun, because... That's that's that is literally the most important thing, because the moment you feel like you got to play video games for a living, like you're fucked. <laughs> so make sure make sure you do something that you enjoy. <clears throat> now, nah, everybody's talking about um, that Dizzy T's saying that uh, th they might be teasing at a Konosuba collab collab because Epic Seven uh, commented that they were referencing Konosuba, right? Uh, or they might be referencing Konosuba, so that's that's a rumor that's going on right now. Uh, 97, Rose. Uh, 13 five star far to heaven to sign who to six star next, but you just keep on farming. Are you, uh, are you going to go for Elfel, uh, web monkey? Yeah, it was in a Facebook post that they just posted. I don't know if it means anything or not, but I mean, it was, uh, it was on the picture with, with Dizzy. It was like explosion, right? And, uh, and then everybody was like, oh, you know, is this a... Hint at Konosuba, and then Epic Seven. They replied like maybe, you know what I mean. So, nah. That'd be crazy though if they did do a Konosuba collab right after uh, right after uh, Guilty Gear. Goddamn, dude! I feel bad for everybody's wallet at that point. <laughs> Sinister, that's something I struggle with too, bro. <laughs> Ross guy, what up, man? Fifty nine summons on Dizzy from my first four star, and it's a dupe artifact. <laughs> oh shit, rip. Uh, Gennaro, what's up, man? <laughs> oh, dude, that shit was ages ago, though. <laughs> I don't even remember that story. It's like, oh, cause you. How did that shit even go? Because you had to call Uber or whatever, and your your driver's name had to be Jose. I was like, if it ain't if it ain't Jose, then that's not gonna be it. And then you went to McDonald's and you like some uh, midget or something punched you in the face. I, I I don't even remember that shit. Just waiting for the update. I feel that. You think I'm missing out on a lot of good RPG games? The console tells of Missouri, yeah. so sooner plus Horizon is the most beautiful game. Yeah, I just, ah, goddamn console RPGs, man. I just, I need, I need a console style RPG that just never ends. Like, I honestly hate beating games now. I used to love beating games when I was a kid, 
but I hate beating games now because it's like, you know, once you play a game that's like, you know, those games are it's like a, like an anime series that you, you just love, and then that shit's over in like twelve episodes. It's like the most disappointing feeling in the world to me. <laughs> Dude, I beat the shit out of this guy, dog. I crushed that game. That was my jam, bro. <clears throat> Do you remember when the update would start? Yeah, the times were definitely different. Yeah, dude, the sky was like one of my favorite uh, strategy RPGs like of all time. I dude, I loved it because like it was one of the first like SR uh, Japanese strategy RPGs that I played where um, you didn't have the level cap, like you know what I'm saying, and you can like just keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Like that's one thing that I really really enjoyed about that game, because like. RPGs is just kind of like went through this stigma where it's like you can only go so far and then you're done and like I just God man, this shit's just so stupid. I feel like now in 2020 like if you're making a game like you should already have something in your game to make it so your game never ends you know or at least last long enough until you release the next DLC. Uh, Jason Allen, what up, man? Oh, yeah, great, dude. That shit was hilarious. Please get them to give us more space. I uh, should I haven't talked to... I haven't sat down with them, but they uh, la they were talking about... Uh, last time I talked to staff, they, they said that there was something they were talking about with the gear storage and shit. Um, they just haven't... There was nothing concrete yet as to what they were going to do. <clears throat> tier list uh there's plenty dude Well, D Rhythm, Epic Seven is basically Summoner's War 2.0, right? So, Epic Seven is basically copying Summoner's War, right? So, it took Summoner's War a few years to really get their shit on. Well, nah, their patch times were always pretty on point. Uh, <laughs> but maybe in the future, you know, D Rhythm, maybe. <sighs> Uh, we're not, I don't think we are. People were saying it, it got censored. That's my fault. I didn't really pay attention when I looked at the scale animation. I assumed it was automatically the same. Listen, Summers of War doesn't suck compared to, they're literally the exact same game. Like, Summoners, Epic 7 is SW, like, for real. Like, no bullshit. Like, they are exactly the same game. The only difference is the skill animations and the energy cost. Summoner's War doesn't have it, yeah, but it's still the same shit. Listen, guys, like, you know, I don't, don't want to ruin your your perfect picture of the world, but, like, literally every single Gacha game is the fucking same, all right? If you look at its core mechanics, every single Gacha has three or four dungeons that you farm for the rest of eternity. They all, <laughs> you all roll for speed. You're all summoning for key heroes. Like, all, they are all... All of them exactly the same. The kicker is just finding one that you enjoy the aesthetics and the community. That's it. Oh, 
Huh? No, because most of the Western gashes are Asian gashes just released later. <laughs> it's all... Listen, man, it's all the same shit, bro. Like, it's all the same shit. <clears throat> Listen, man, you guys arguing that Gashi games are different. I get it, man. That's cool, man. That's your jam. You don't want me to insult your babies. I get it, man. But the fact of the matter is, you guys are still here playing E7. And E7 is the same as fucking Summoner's War. Just like most other Gashi games. How are the rates? I have no idea. They didn't release the rates. Um, I just need to hang, get the hang of gear. Uh, we don't know if it's real, Prince. What if E7 made an anime? Then you'd have an anime to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, listen, if you learn how to crush a Gashi game, you guys can pick any Gashi game. You learn how to crush one Gashi game, you can crush them all. Like, literally, the principles are the same all the way across the board, right? Like, you can take everything that you've learned from E7 and apply it to Ronald McDonald's Playhouse Gasha with Grimace, like, tomorrow, right? And you'll be like, okay, you can look at the gear sets, you can be like, alright, what do I need? Alright, I probably need speed, crit rate, crit damage, blah, blah, blah. And you win. Like, okay, I just need to summon for these heroes. Petition my summons. Like, it's literally the same shit. Like, it, it's not an insult, y'all. Like, it's just, it, it just is what it is, man. Like, <laughs> y'all like, nah, uh, nah, uh. <laughs> Dude, I can listen. With, with, I'm telling you, man. With, with anything that you've learned. From these games, you could take this knowledge and go to any Gasha game and crush it. Any. <clears throat> uh, what? It, I, I don't play E7 or M. Like I said, I only play this when I stream with you guys. And then I just do my news videos. Like, I don't play this off-duty. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hang out with y'all. Like, I, I enjoy coming in, talking to you guys, answering your questions. But, like, outside of playing this with y'all, I don't I don't play, homie. Homie! I get this question all the time. Like, I'm doing brand deals and stuff like that for other games. And you guys are like, oh, you guys leaving E7 for this game? No. I'm doing these brand deals to get these done. And then... <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for Genshin Impact. Uh, what do I play off duty? I don't really. I haven't. I haven't really been playing a lot of video games uh, lately, to be honest. Uh, Genshin's coming out on PC. I don't, we don't. We don't know the official release date yet. Uh, there's supposed to be another beta happening. We don't know when. Wink, wink. Uh, soon. TM. Wink, wink. Um, but yeah. Does Wyvern 13 get extra CR from fire units? Uh, I don't know. How many McNugs? Dude, you gotta get at least a six piece. You know, I feel like if you buy the 20 piece nugget, well now they got a 40 piece nugget, Web Monkey. But I feel like you should only get the 40 piece nugget if you're trying to like six star like a whole team. When you try to go into Playpen 10, because Playpen 10 is a serious dungeon, bro, so. Uh, then I would get the 40 piece nugget for the playpen 10, uh, floor 10. But for everything else, I think you just need the six piece. Yeah, yeah. So how, how bad is the censorship? I didn't really look at it. <laughs> uh... 
I'll, I'll tell y'all, man, the recipe for gashes is all the same, y'all. Start a roster heroes, okay? Gear spread, you know, obviously heroes that are summonable for. A few dungeons that you're gonna farm for the rest of eternity. And add RNG. You got a gashy game. That's it. Summon system. And everything else is player created. Oh, in an arena. <laughs> and you got a game. Everything else after that is just individuality. A bathroom is hell raid? That's funny. Yeah, I noticed they shortened the uh, the S2 animation too, man. Her sword looks kind of whack in the uh, in the uh, E7 cake slice too. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely gonna check out Blue Protocol for sure. I've been keeping my uh, eyes and ears open for when we actually get an opportunity to play it. Uh, Jess Warren, what's up, buddy? What is my long-term goal for life with success and all that? Didn't sound like it's going to be true. Um, they say that you you gain your purpose from your pain, uh, right, Orm? So, um, long-term, man, I would just like to help people like regain control of their lives, dude. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, my challenge, my journey right now is self-control, right? And that's something that's really, really important to me. So along the way, if I can help others kind of like get out of their own way and achieve that for themselves too, I think, I th I think I could die easy. You know what I mean? <laughs> for sure. How I'm gonna do that, I have no fucking idea. But you know, we'll figure it out. Uh. Good self-control, um, taking full responsibility, I think is the big thing, and admitting to yourself that that like it's all you. Like, well, I guess that's basically just saying the same thing twice, but that's that's the first step. Is really taking responsibility for who the fuck you are. Because if you can't do that, then there is no self-control. Because then it's always going to be like somebody else's fault, something else's fault. You know what I'm saying? It's Miles Gates' fault, Super Creative's fault, your girlfriend's fault. It would be somebody else's fucking fault. But I, I think that's the uh, I think that's the first step. 18 Willow, what up, man? It's McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, I mean, it's crazy because, like, the other day, like, we were joking about Gasha games. Uh, remember when we were talking about Stockholm Syndrome? And it's just, like, that's how, like, a lot of these Gasha games, like, that's how they condition you, you know what I'm saying? Because you're, like, you you base, like, all your, like, dopamine response and, like, your happiness off of whether or not, like, you can pull for a hero. And then if you pity or it costs you a bunch of money or you don't fucking summon shit, you're like, fuck this game, I hate this shit, I'm done. And then the next summon, like, you get, you'll get the hero quick. And then you'll be like, oh, it's going to be different. You know, it's just like, <laughs> we're all, like, battered husbands. Like, oh, yeah, it'll it'll change. It'll change. Epic 7, she's taking classes. She wants to be better for me for our relationship looking ass. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> it's just kind of funny, man. Um, I got, like, 100 summon tickets, 4K crystals. Nice. 
Uh, Stockholm Syndrome is kind of like uh, w like when you're in a fucked up situation. Like let's say you're you know you're a husband and wife, and uh, God song. I'm assuming you're you're gonna be the wife this time. And your husband is just beating the hell out of you all the time, but then he tells you he's gonna change. So you accept your conditions of just getting beat the fuck up because you're expecting things to be different or better in the future, basically. Kind of rough explanation there, um, but that's that's kind of like what we got as Gasha players. <laughs> we we just getting battered, and then like that one time, you know, you see the light or that purple shiny, you like, oh, <laughs> it's gonna be different. But yeah, I mean, I, the irony of that—that's that, what we were talking about. And when you invest so much, you feel like you can't quit, so you're stuck. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So you just keep on investing and investing and investing and investing and investing because next time it'll be different, right? So <laughs> it was kind of funny because my buddy Tokwix, uh, we were playing, uh, I can't remember what the fuck we were playing. We were playing uh, Last Oasis. And he was the one that told me, I was like, what? he's like, yeah, it's kind of like everybody at Stockholm. So I was like, what do you mean? What the hell is that? And he explained it to me. I was like, oh, yeah, that shit was just kind of funny. But like it's 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 literally a system that's designed to just keep you locked in, you know what I'm saying? Like you just can't get out. You know? So and then the re and the reasons and then you can just keep justifying, you know, why you keep doing it like over and over and over and over and over again, right? Oh, I'm just going to do it for this hero. I'm just going to do it for that or you know, I've I've come too far to quit now, right? Then that's when all the motivational quotes start playing in your mind and shit. <laughs> but it it's a, it's a system that's designed to keep you spending. Eighteen Willow, man, what's what's up, bro? How the hell you been? Nah, man, it shouldn't be depressing, man. I mean, that's just you know, it's just how it is, man. <laughs> that's just the reality of it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and 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 that's and that's the design, and it's not, and it's just a basic, uh, it's just a basic play on human psychology. You know what I mean? Like, cause uh, you know we operate off of like you know pleasure pain. Uh, Christopher Smiley says, what's up, bro? Watch your patch prediction video. I'm disappointed you didn't mention it. My bad, man. I feel like I failed my community when I didn't mention strays in there. Uh, D is, you say your dad's full damn, dude. Uh, as F2P, should I try to get multiple soul? Or try to get as many portraits as possible? I mean, you only really need like three, three max portraits, dog. And if you don't want to max soul, like it's not really that necessary as long as you just get soul. What are my thoughts on Alpha? I think that's kind of shitty, like to be honest. I mean, it's kind of fucked up. But you know, Ray, Ray's coming right after. If, <laughs> not that that's any justification at all, but like especially after they like chained all the banners together like that, dude. That's kind of that's kind of dickish. Do I read any philosophy? Yeah, yeah. I started reading philosophy when I was thirteen. Um, the first philosophy book I read was Karma and Rebirth by this guy Christmas Humphreys. Um, and the the excerpt that I remember from that book, um, it, it was so funny. My whole life ties back to like self control. It's it's fucking weird now that I think about it. Um, but he was talking about, you know, a lot of people, uh, in life, you know, base their experience on external happenings, right? So he said, most people will be in a room that only has one way to get in and one way to get out. So they'll go inside the room, they'll move all the furniture, stack all the furniture against the door and complain that they can't get out instead of just moving the fucking furniture back and then leaving. Um, and that was, that was kind of like a really pivotal point in my life. Um, <laughs> I think that part actually triggered like a lot of rebellion in me because then at that point like I start to really question everything why like what the fuck is the point of doing things the way that we're doing it what's the point of religion what's the point you know everything like that and again I was a 13 year old kid at this time um, so that definitely led me down a crazy road for sure.
<laughs> but yeah, I've I've read all kinds of different philosophy uh, throughout the years. I'm always curious to see uh, like what other people's ideas are and stuff. How long am I streaming for? I don't know. Till I, till I stop. Little Queen Charlotte. Uh, Torex, I think that was Karl Marx. Uh, Communist Manifesto, I think that's what you're referencing. Uh, where are all your debuffs on Wyvern come from? Alexa, the one that's left standing. Uh, I don't really have a stance, you know, like, uh, or I'm like, uh, kind of more like universalist. Like, I kind of just look at nature and like how nature operates, right? Like, the, the lion doesn't fucking feel bad when he eats the gazelle and shit, you know? So I look at like, stupid is as stupid does, right? <laughs> Like, it's real simple. Like, I don't, I don't really think a lot about how things should be or shouldn't be as much as, like, all right, uh, this is the way that they are. And why are we pretending Why are we pretending that things aren't really that way? You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's kind of more my approach to it. Uh, we don't know yet. I mean, on paper, Thompson, she looks cool, but... We haven't. Had, we won't have the opportunity to test her for another eleven goddamn hours. Yeah, I think stoicism. I can. I definitely can relate more to like Marcus Aurelius, uh, Epictetus. You know, stuff like that. Like um, that's. I I resonate more with that. I mean, there's a lot of uh, personal accountability when it comes to that, and I can. I. It, I don't know. It just resonates with me a lot more. Uh, do you think we'll get Arbiter Vildra? Yeah, of course. Now that there's 52 counters for him. <laughs> Slavery. 18, I feel that, bro. Uh, since you don't have Angelica, I use a mop mode. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, dude. You got Cham Z from the temples. Nice. Uh, I plan to build Faithless Lytic for RTA. You recommend me building her up? If so, which build? Um, I don't know. I have no idea, Giannis. I don't really do RTA. <laughs> so I don't I don't even know how people are building Faithless anymore. They used to build her fast. Some people were building her slower for, like, cleave. I have no idea, man. Uh, you can check. You can probably check out some videos online for, like, Faithless Lytic uh, World Arena. But, yeah. Ryan Bailey, what's up, man? God damn. <laughs> if you uh, never read another comment from me again, please look at the book Rational Mail. Rolo Tomasi. I'll Google it right now. Rolo Tomasi. The Rational Mail. Uh, Zero Nexus, what's up, man? Is it worth it to get Ray? I mean, if you need a healer, pull for him. If you don't, don't. Save. Did I play Bleach? Yeah, I played for like a second. Spent like 10 bucks. Uh... 
Uh, yeah, your Wyvern Team Rise is gonna be what you're gonna be looking at. Do I have Dizzy? Yeah, yeah, my Dizzy's triple S. With stupid ass, uh, triple S artifact. Yeah, yeah, her kit, her, her kit's ain't pretty crazy, man. I can't, I can do it, I can't even front. Like, her kit looks pretty fucking nasty. Like, I think it'd be disgusting for a cleave. Like, really disgusting. I, I don't know, so... This, this was me a year ago, you know. I probably had something to prove, trying to show people that I was a whale. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Waste of fucking yeah, you're right. I wasted a shit ton of cash. Uh, uh, so dizzy next six star. Uh, yeah, that's a safe one. Is RB RB viable for everything, man? Ain't, ain't really much RB isn't viable for. Uh, do I? Yeah, I got Sin Angelica. She's uh, chilling right now, four star. Yeah, I hear a lot of people arguing that, but who the hell's using Earth Healers? I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like shit, man. Who the hell is using Earth Heroes, er er Earth Soul Weavers right now? Nobody. When, when is, when did, she comes out in uh, 11 hours, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show Angelica. Dude, I ain't seen the death. Then again, I ain't really been playing this game, so. <laughs> Is Destiny people using Destiny now? Uh, Andy Kuna, what up, man? Why did I stop playing Summer's War? Because I thought that Epic 7 was going to be the, the greener grass on the other side. And it ended up being that. <laughs> <laughs> and then now, you know, we're in the process of moving on to bigger and better things. Um, damn. Uh, have I been playing? Nah. I, I'm... Like, uh, I'm trying to move away from like full on gacha games, y'all. Like, I, I can't even, I can't even fucking, I can't, I can't bullshit y'all, man. Like, I'm not trying to move from E7 to like another E7. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just not it. Like, E7 will probably be like, you know, like with these, you know, obviously other than brand deals, because brand deals, like, I'm just gonna do the goddamn brand deals, but like. E7 will probably be the last turn-based RPG that I play. Like, ever. Uh, how much would you say all in all? What do you mean, like, how much have I spent total on this game? Is that what you're talking about, or are you talking about something else, Soren? Uh, Exos Hero, I mean, I, I, I'm doing a brand deal promotion for them at the end of the month. But, like, um, it just... Angel Ortiz, it just doesn't make sense to me to... Like, on the pathway that I'm on right now, to kind of, like, regain control and, you know, stop being, like, addicted to stupid shit for me to go from, like, E7 to, like, another E7. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, I have a brand deal for Exos Heroes that I got to do at the end of the month. I'm doing a Honka Impact deal right now, and I'm also doing uh, Calibria, right? So, like, that'll be the rest of this month, just so y'all y'all know. And then, um, yeah. Just waiting for Genshin Impact. Ready for, oh, am I summoning for you, bro? Yeah, that's right, I forgot all about that. Yeah, I'm ready. Why did it stop playing? Um, it wasn't because I didn't enjoy it, uh, Janice. Like, I was playing, and I thought the game was cool. I even spent, like, five bucks. 
Um, it's just that in the middle of my playing, I felt myself getting hype. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. And then I started thinking like, oh yeah, I'm about to do all these dungeons and crush them. I'm gonna start making videos. <clears throat> and then I caught myself. Then I was like, what the fuck you doing, dude? Like, I'm, li I'm literally going to basically repeat history again. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh yeah, now we're gonna, you know, go over here and do the same shit we just did for Epic Seven, like. And then I, then I, that literally right at that point I uninstalled. And then uh, I re-downloaded the other day to try to get the slime heroes. And then I had to ask myself like, bro, if you even if you pull the slime heroes, like, are you even gonna play? And the answer was no, so I re-uninstalled. <laughs> and that, that was the end of my seven deadly. I used to play a lot of uh, Paragon, uh, Andy, like probably three thousand games or so. Um, Paragon came back out as shit. What the hell is it called? I don't even fault, I think. Um, and I thought I was going to get back into it, but nah, I'm good. Uh, some people, there was somebody in here saying that you can use it for 813, but I don't know. She seems to me like a PvP hero. Uh, Paragon was a game that, that Epic Games that came out with before Fortnite. Um, that was supposed to be their next flagship, but it didn't hit. And then when they, uh, when Fortnite came out and blew the hell up, they literally just dropped the project. And then um, some other companies have been trying to pick it up to re-release it. Yeah, it was, that was that was a that was a heartbreaking day, man. When they they cause shit, dude. I love that damn game. Why am I using Tyrannor Guard? Because he, uh, he was the first six star I ever had. He was in my box, ready to go. Uh, came back as, I think it's like Fault, Shuhiko or something like that. Fault or something. I don't know, man. Just look for like Paragon 2 or Paragon Remake. Uh, I don't know if it's in like beta now or like what they're doing with it, but yeah. No, nah, no, nah, I haven't. I haven't really been in an anime mood, man. Like, I like I've been in this mood where, like, if I gotta read shit at the bottom of the screen, I ain't watching it. <laughs> I saw just been for like the past few weeks, man. I haven't, I haven't really been watching shit, but like regular Netflix just to fall asleep. How much time? Long ass time, dude. Patch, patch, seven hour maintenance tonight, guys. So like, make sure you guys got stuff to do. Uh, Mindhunter, I think I've seen that. Ozark was crazy, dude. That ending of the season three, that, uh, yo, I was like, I've, I've probably rewatched that ending like four times now. <laughs> oh, man. Oh yeah, well, listen, I won't spoil it, but it's it, definitely you ain't gonna expect it. I'll just say that. Shit, god damn. Yo. <laughs> Yo, that ending was out of this world, dogs. Out of this world. I, I can't, dog. I can't. Nine hundred sounds from. I feel like I've watched that. Netflix been on the ball though. They've been coming out with a lot of a lot of new stuff lately. <laughs> Death Note. <laughs> Yo, who watched that Death Note live action though? <laughs> Can we talk about L though and the Death Note live action on Netflix? I know y'all seen it. Don't even front. Uh, that shit was fucking trash. Uh, 
Who's my all time best wife? Mm. <laughs> oh, dog, it's Nolan, my dude, bro. Don't do it, man. <laughs> Oh man, it's like uh, it's 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 pretty bad, dog. Yeah, but you look cool, definitely. Um, I don't know who the hell in the studio was like. Listen, we just gonna take all types of liberties with this series and just turn it into some shit that Death Note is not. Do I ever play chess? Uh, I played chess when I was a kid, but like, it, it, I told myself I was gonna get competitive in chess one time, and I was like, hell yeah, you know, that's I'm, dude, I'm gonna play chess. So then I started like going to the library and like starting to read chess books and shit. Then I realized it wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> that was that, that was my experience with that. All right, so this is the question. What is the last movie that you've seen that had a positive impact on your life, good or bad, right? So, uh, so or, or it's not positive impact, so significant impact on your life, good or bad. Like, after you watched that movie, you were like, shit, that was crazy. Uh, I mean, you can get banned if you use an emulator incorrectly, Thompson. For sure. Like, if you try to, like, modify game files, hell yeah, that has to get banned real quick. But, like, if you're just using it to play, dude, I've been using an emulator for years. Years. Everyone doing burnouts. That's what's up, man. Wolf Children. Pa Parasite was crazy. People were saying that the live action for Parasite actually wasn't bad. Frozen, dude. I've seen Frozen so many goddamn times. <laughs> oh, yo. Get Out ruined my life. It's, yo, it's, I was scarred. I was, I was emotionally scarred after watching Get Out, bro. Nah, man. We don't talk about them horror movies. <laughs> You know what trips me out is like when you see a lot of these actors that are like from the UK and then you find out like uh, or you think they're like from the US or like from the hood or something and then they got like a British accent and you're like what? <laughs> uh, like in that series All American uh, main character like the dude like I heard him in an interview he had like, he had, like a British accent <laughs> slight Huh? What? What, what just happened? <laughs> Am I black or Mexican? I just, neither one of them should. Well, I'm black, yeah. But I ain't definitely ain't Mexican. I'm Japanese Korean. Japanese Korean and African American, man. Uh, when I when I lived on the East Coast, so everybody thought I was Dominican. People would just come up to me, start speaking Spanish and shit. Yo, like, hey, yo, can you come here, pollo? I'm like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Los monos, come here, pollo? I know. I, know. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. You know? Yeah, Los Monos, man. <sighs> Extraction was interesting. I spent a majority of that movie asking myself, what the hell is going on right now? I 
Oh, David Chang's dope, dude. He seemed like a real cool dude. <laughs> you speak Spanish too, Crimson? Truman Show was crazy. Yeah. That movie was a trip. And Yes Man. The yes Man was hilarious too. Uh, do you find yourself with all sides of your cultures uh, or straight up American? Uh, I, I don't, man. Actually, growing up, I had a really tough time. Um, because, uh, you know, on like my Afro-American side, like I wasn't accepted. And then on the Asian side, I definitely wasn't accepted. So, um, I don't know. It's kind of like being mixed. Like, you just kind of learn to... Well, I had to learn. You know, I don't know if it's like that now. But me growing up, I just had to like force my own way, man. Brian, bro, with a name like that, bro, you can't just be coming here talking trash, bro. You seen your name, Junior Cooch? Oh <laughs> like, <laughs> come on, man, get your ass out of here. Uh, you're Dominican raised in NY. That's what's up, man. Dude, it's crazy from West Coast to East Coast. How you look at like, uh, like the difference. <laughs> Like, on the West Coast, it's all, like, Mexican. On the East Coast, it's all Puerto Rican, Dominican, El Salvadorian. Uh, do you think new players are something? Yeah. I think you guys should definitely get you an alpha. Arky! I feel like you trolls. I feel. Like... Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So that's something that I'm. I'm still struggling with. I'd be ready to go. <laughs> I'd be having to re remind myself to just ignore them. But sometimes it's. It's just. It's so hard. It's so much more fun to talk shit. Valorant? Nah, nah, I haven't played it. I don't even know what that is. Rotary? Man, you are such a keen observationist. Listen, no Rick, alright? I know you're upset right now, but... Whoop him! Let me just flex, flex some apple on you, you know what I'm saying? Don't make me put my earpods in, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Android ain't shit. Listen, Rotary, I ain't tuning shit. This is going to be the same team you see tomorrow and the next day and the next day. And people going to say the same shit that they said yesterday and the day before that. Android is life. Listen, man. I just can't take you seriously after you said that, bro. I just, just can't. Look, man. Samsung trash, too. It's okay, man. Android ain't shit. It's a, listen, guys. It's all right. I, I get it. You know, you guys are upset. You guys wouldn't pity on, you know, Dizzy or whoever, you know, so you guys want to bash, you know, the only real brand that matters. But, you know, I understand. It's cool. Yeah, it's still trash, though. When Genshin Impact comes out, tell me this. I want y'all to come here and tell me that same shit. You won't be able to. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Uh, Divinity, what up, man? But hold on, no rig. Is that a kissy face? <laughs> Yo, that face is hilarious. I can't even. I can't deal with you, man. Uh, Apple. Apple is the only brand that matters. Uh, if you were playing on an Android device, your one, your runs would not fail. Uh, uh, don't you see me on this Android emulator that I'm failing on? 
Come on, man. Rotary. Demone one, Rotary Wiz zero. So I'm gonna play it on a Mac? No, 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 I'm playing on a PC. I'm good, no, Rick. I'm chilling, man. Uh, see, uh, make sure you get insurance on your house rise, all right? <laughs> your whole house gonna crash at the same goddamn time. You gonna be in the stream like, do you don't know what to do, man? My house fell apart, man. We, we all Android. Can my shitty Apple phone play E7, YouTube, and Discord all at once? The fuck would you want to do all that on the phone for anyway? So that's why you have like computers and shit. Two, three months? Bruh, where do you live? <laughs> Crimson, where do you... Bruh, wherever you live, Crimson, I'm moving to where you at. If you're talking a phone costs two, three months rent. Where do you live, bro? Because I, <laughs> I am moving there. <laughs> Todd with the roast. Wops test. Okay. What, what the fuck is that? PS Five. No, no, I didn't. Is it pretty good? Hold on, the newest iPhone is two, three months in rent. Dude, Roz, I'm moving to the Netherlands. Seven months rent in Albania, bro. What, what we got to do, bro? All right, Greenbird, take it easy, man. Do I have mods? No, I don't have any mods. My brother, my 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 brother Junior Cooch. <laughs> it's really Unreal Engine 5 Tech. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, would you buy off-brand phone with specs? Uh, I, I I'm definitely paying for the brand. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Like I I don't think Android phones are bad, but I have Apple, so I I I I feel like I have. I feel like I'm predisposed to talk trash about Android phones just because I have an Apple phone. You know what I'm saying? It's like Bloods and Crips, right? So, so yeah, so that's all. Like, so on that note, Android, Samsung, ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Get wrecked. Android about as bad as my Women, 11, women 13 team right now. <laughs> hey, Frank, that's what's up, bro. That's what I like to hear, man. No, nah, listen, my argument is valid because I have an Apple phone. If my argument was invalid, I would have an Android phone. But I don't. Because Android sucks. Samsung sucks. Your phone sucks. Get wrecked. Well, listen, man. If you ever in, in my city, right, and you want to put the gloves on, man, we, should, we sure can. Whenever you're ready, dog, we can get it. There's a gym right up the street. Uh, <clears throat> oh, you you gonna be my ass? Add me on Facebook.
Uh, this S20 Ultra Run E7, like, a, yeah, but, but listen, Android sucks, man. How's Vegas doing it? It's shut the hell down. They just started open, uh, 50% of the stream. Hey there, old E7 player just returning to the game and want to start a new account. Do you still recommend Tywin, Angelica, Karin, and Clarissa on the Selector Summons? Yeah. Am I getting alpha? Yeah. I know y'all in here fighting over phone companies. You <laughs> Crimson, dude, they ain't waste no time, dude. <laughs> People like, yo, the second wave is coming. <laughs> but they don't care. Everything's wide open. <clears throat> Do you spend hell no? You don't want to leave your house? That's, like, Charles, that's the end of the season. <laughs> you guys still crushing it, though, from home, Charles? <laughs> I think it's, it is kind of crazy, though, that they already going to uh, reopen the casinos out here, dude. I was like, man, that's, that's kind of quick, man. They already t accepting uh, reservations at, uh, I think, the win or something like that for... Uh, uh, On Memorial Day weekend? How old am I? I'm 35. 30. Oh, yeah, about to be 35. You work at the MGM? They already got you going to work, Isu? Yeah, dude. Hospitality has been dying, dude. I feel so bad for, like, all my boys, like, yeah, that are bartending and stuff. You, look, bro. Hey, man. You know where I'm at. I'm in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you in town, there's a gym right up the street, dog. We can pad up. We can go, dog. I, ain't nothing. Ain't nothing to me, bro. If you get a couple summons away from pity, are you spending? No, I'm not spending anything. Brandy plays, yo. Yeah, cost of living is crazy down here right now, Divinity. So I can't say it would be a bad. It would. I can't say that it wouldn't be a bad investment. Why don't I spend on... Yeah, dude, I'm, just, I'm not I'm not spending shit, dog. <laughs> I don't get the age, and so it's like you're not going to be below 20. No, nah, no, nah, I stopped playing BDM. I'm thinking about checking it out, though. I want to see the Striker, because Striker just came out Monday, so I might check it out, but I don't know. Uh, E7 is cool. Today's that day, huh? <laughs> uh, F2P collab with Actual Nox? I'm good, man. I'm good. Uh, has the game? Nah, dog. It's still the same. Just new heroes.
Uh, do you have enough bookmarks? Yeah, I got enough. I'm gonna pull her in, in less than ten pulls. I'm saving for Nezuko. Cool, man. You just keep on saving. Am I gonna skip Ray? Probably. Can you still use Assyria? I don't mm. Yeah, I'm just or I'm, I'm just not, nah, dude. Like I, I'm so detached from outcome, like in this game, and I didn't used to be. So it's kind of, it's kind of like crazy standing on the outside looking in, because like I have all these expectations from people that I'm supposed to be like a certain way, and it's just. I don't know, man. It's just kind of funny. Listen, um, <clears throat> yo, uh, Dr. Cooch, whatever your name is, I just want to let you know I appreciate you. Because you know when you're doing this thing in my stream, you're driving my chat up for my statistics, so you push my stream ranking up. So it allows me to make more money. So I just want to say, man, just keep typing the meths, bro. Just keep banging them out. Thank you. Is streaming getting tired from you? No. It does at times. You know what I'm saying? Um, but no, I'm chilling. Uh, do I have a hell raid guide? Because it's getting tough. No. Nah. Probably won't be one either, Broken Oasis. Uh, I, I do have info, Crimson, but I can't reveal that info. I'll be able to reveal it in a few days. You just got, you just got to be a little patient. Wet monkey with the boomer love. Thanks so much for the five donuts. Yo, how much longer do you see yourself playing E7? Um, I'm just going to be playing E7 to the capacity that I'm playing it now, which is only on stream with you guys. Um, I'll still be doing like all my new stuff and stuff like that. If the, the point in the future comes where I'm just done with this shit and I just wake up and I'm like, man, fuck this game. Um, then I'll let you guys know. I'm like, I'm out. See ya. Love you. Thank you. Peace. But as of right now, like I'm, I'm cool with the amount of effort that I'm putting forth. Any more kids? Probably. <laughs> 50 more maybe or you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Is Genshin on mobile or consoles? Both. Uh, it's cross-platform across all of them, except for Xbox. Uh, can I get your account? Hell no. Unless you go and give me 20 grand. You can give me 20 grand, you can have it all day. <laughs> all right, thanks for the five euros, man. Have a good one, bro. <laughs> He's gonna fight me all the way from from the UK. <laughs> uh, yeah, about twenty two thousand. Twenty two G's. Ish over the past two years, yeah. It's about the uh, I don't know what's the math on that. I don't want to tell you right now. Calculator, 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 calculator 22,000 divided by 24, 22,000 divided by 24 equals 900 bucks a month. Q 
can you give me the RNG luck? Listen, if you're here, if you pull Elfeld in the stream, like you'll get it. I told you, listen, I have I have a requirement from all of you guys to pull Elfeld within ten summons. Period. If you if you guys are truly my friend, you guys will pull her. Pull <laughs> pull Elfeld within ten summons. I mean that's it. It's easy. Uh Katzen, what's up, man? Just ten. You know what I'm saying? How many times? Seven hours. Uh, with the moan luck, somehow you're gonna, it, dude. Listen, Astro, it'll probably happen like that. Nah, see, you guys planning for the pity? You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to plan for the ten. That's it. Damn, I'm sorry, five o'clock. Any recommended place to check like is this year good or bad quality? Best morale boost at raid? Uh No? I mean, I don't know. I guess videos? Or like gear guides and stuff like that maybe? But it's 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 hard to really put a definitive rule on what gear is good and bad because you can mix and match, you know? Maintenance is in uh, three hours. Web monkey, is, is that it? <laughs> yeah, Brian, how am I supposed to look at my head, man? You just, am I supposed to like look up at something? <laughs> like how 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 am I supposed to look at my own head? <laughs> Super deluxe. Uh, Facebook, what up, man? How long is maintenance? Uh, seven hours. Mm. Yeah, yeah, for a year, it was seven hours. Probably like a pre patch or something. Uh, you think Elfeld is a must have? Uh, I'd, I'd definitely get her. She's limited, and you only got a week to get her, so might as well. Oh, here, let me show you, dude. I'm prepared. I'll tell you how prepared I am. I want to show y'all. <laughs> you said I'm blessed. Uh, Full time job. It's crazy that they reopen this stuff. I just stay home with my wife, play video games. Dude, can't, can't, can't go wrong with that. But look at this, guys. I got 45 bookmarks, 260 mystics. We're going to pull haste in these 260 mystics. Elfelt and he's 45 and I have a couple of mystic summons Let's go and then and then and then we still got the four to five to do and 2,000 sky stones. I Think we're good. I think we're good I Think we got this on the spot Did I do now nah, I haven't done auto tower yet. Oh haste is coming out. I should probably do auto tower, huh? Ain't no one I'm getting them. Alright. <laughs> Jappy Loco, what up, man?
Uh, Steven says, oh, shit, man, Stephen Halterman, dude. I feel like I ain't seen you in ages, bro. How you been? He says, how are you and your daughter doing? Hope all is well. Uh, for the F2P iPhone folks, if we get Alpha and Artifact early, we should, should we, uh, get some extra dizzies? I mean, if you already got dizzy, man, I would just chill. And then if you get Alpha quick, then just hold, dude. I don't have Vildra for this? Nah, man, we're gonna do this slow, man. This is stream time right here. Right, well, welcome, Jappy. I fortunately have some bookmarks left over. If I don't get her in the 50 summons I have left, I guess it wasn't meant to be. I think one day for you to rest. <laughs> Thank man. Why you trying to? Why you trying to bring me back to this life, bro? Uh, how did I beat 1010 Fossus? I uh, put a video out. Uh, so just check out 1010. I think I think that was like the title of the video. Oh, I ain't, I ain't going back, Greg. You ain't gonna, you ain't gotta worry about that. <laughs> you ain't gotta worry about that, bro. Yeah. Been well. Started working full time in January for the Department of Licensing, so I haven't had time to watch streams. Been quite a while. No more crazy to it. Ah, that's what's up, man. That's always good, man. Glad things are going well for you. My account's luck is unbelievable. You know, hey, listen, guys. You know, <laughs> you know what'd be crazy um, is if like you weren't allowed to create like a social media account unless you use like your real information, like your social security number and shit. And then so like if you talk shit on the stream, like you would know exactly who the hell was talking shit. Yo, that would be crazy. How do you think that that would affect the internet? I can't wait till Genshin drops and we're all set. Dude, I think, dude, that stream is going to be a really good time, Greg. It would make the internet too powerful. I hear they have that in like some Asian countries already. Like, it's pretty crazy. You think, you think that that's where they would, uh, you think that that's the direction that they're headed? <laughs> a lot of kids getting beat up. <laughs> you still shit talk <laughs> Motherfucker show up at your house Like yo you had something to say homie <laughs> Uh Uh Nah I mean You know I thought you was somebody else Like Debo show up at your house <laughs> Uh, he he just wants some attention, man. You know what I'm saying? He found out his kid is mine, and now he's just mad. Uh, I I stream kind of at random times. I just picked up today to just kind of hang up, hang up, hang out. What, man? Y'all getting tired of reading this comments already? <laughs> All right. All right, hold on. There you go. Uh, there you go. <clears throat> is there a maintenance tonight what are my thoughts on ray i mean he's good he's fast i think he's be easy to use but i um I, 
is he a must pull? I don't think so. But uh, you know, it depends on what his multiplier, heal, heal multipliers and stuff is gonna be. You think you should pull for Dizzy's artifact? Probably not. Uh, Cause if you're asking, you're probably free to play. And then if you're free to play, um, that leads me to my next deduction. Um, then nah, yeah, if you already got Dizzy, then just chill, get Elf out. And then if you want to get Dizzy artifacts later after you pull Elf out, then go for it. Well, I mean, I'm I'm not denying that his kit is good, but like, what? Okay, so, so this is what I want you. This is what I'm asking you guys. All right. So if you pull Ray right now, and I want it, no matter where you're at in the game, you guys looking at Ray's kit, and you guys like it's good. What are you gonna do with Ray? Before I forget, thanks uh thanks for the videos about how to go to tackling GG Cola for free to play really helped me navigate. Hey man, for sure, dude, absolutely. Well, well, and see, that's what I'm asking, and it's my fault, um, you know, as a content creator, like, because when, when I think about heroes, there's a lot of stuff that I think about, and then I just put the stuff out, and I should be, I should explain more of my thought process, so I guess I can give people a clearer picture of where I'm coming from, but it's like, I think for, like, a lot of new players, like, if you're just pulling Ray just to pull Ray, like, you're not really going to do shit with him, because... Where is it going to come to play? Like, if you're in game, late game, end game, and you got a bunch of extra gear, and you're looking for, like, position play or something like that, or you needed that key healer, then yeah, but you can get that dude anytime. You know what I'm saying? You could be taking a shit tomorrow when he after he comes out. You could be taking a shit and be like, oh, look, press the summon button off some daily and pull Ray. So that's why I'm, that's why I'm like, eh, you know. Is he busted to the point that everybody needs to get him? Absolutely not. Is he good? Sure. Is he fast? Yes. But game changing? Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? MC, why you have to do him like that, though? <laughs> With his 2,000 base HP. Uh, main is same for three hours. It don't start till 8 o'clock, uh, PST, uh, Sundore. Who's my favorite character combo? Yeah, probably Basar Elfelt. I think that's just going to be stupid. Basar Elfo with like a double cleave after, oh, I'd look like I feel like you can't stop that shit. Like, or if you had like yeah, because like if Elfo if if Elfo can one shot like AOE death break like after the full strip they can't be resisted. Like so if you put like a C Dom or like some other mage cleave with another cleave, pff, dude, this lights out. Lights the f out. Like your arena cleave is about to be cake, super cake. And then if you happen to be faster than the enemy team and they're still on idols cheer, don't even matter. Uh, that's why I'm like, people are like, I'm gonna put Ray on my arena defense. I'm like, <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> yo, <laughs> the arena defense about to get some mashed, some mashed. Had to harmonize on that. I mean, what you need Tywin for? You just need Elf Health to one shot, and she's AoE Death Break. S3 to S2 with AoE Death? Like, pff, bruh, 100%? Pff, ah, let's go. Uh -huh. 
Here you go. It's my Sid right here. Elfelt, uh, you won't be able to summon for Elfelt for another 10 hours. Uh, Will, I'm here for you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I appreciate your compliments. I don't think that's the right Sid, though. I do have... I think I have a five-star Sid. <laughs> but, the, but the effects are the same, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, I got a five-star Sid. Here he is. Am I going to do a pool session? Hells yeah. Shun, what up, man? <sighs> yo, uh, who was that that recommended me Dr. Squatch? Yo, whoever recommended me that day, yo. Hats off to you. That's just legit. Uh, he's not underrated. A lot of people still use Violet, man. Do some secret. I'm good. I'm lazy, bro. We about to do straight packs. Straight packs. Occasionally, Chris. Uh, would I aim for multiple artifact copies or one and bottle the rest of MLB? Uh, mm, I don't know. Think there is any point of buying anything with cash besides bookmarks? Uh, charm packs. Listen, man. Back in my whale days, before I decided that I was going to turn a new leaf, uh, the packs that I would buy would be um, gear packs, which I don't think are worth anymore, by the way. Used to be, but now they ain't worth a shit. But I would buy Mulligore packs, and I would buy the Charm packs. Pretty much every month. Um, then after that, if I was gambling or summoning, then I'd do monthly summons or stuff like that. But like collab pack, obviously I'd pick up veteran pack for sure. Um, and then uh, that's it, man. See, look, man, y'all see, I thought I was lying. Look, I still don't even have the veteran pack. This is this is how you know I'm true F2P. I didn't I didn't buy this either. Any current anime? Nah, man, I I haven't really been in an anime mood lately, man. Um, I was watching Tower of God. And uh, My Hero Academia, but My Hero Academia ended, and I, I think I have quite a few episodes of Black Clover to catch up on. Should you go hard for? I mean, you're definitely gonna get Alpha, out, Kevin, for sure. Sookie, sookie. Oh man, we didn't get the bookmarks though. Whack. Oh, we might, maybe. Ah, uh, we ain't even close. Uh, there's definitely maintenance. It's going to be a seven hour maintenance, guys. Seven hour maintenance. So, if y'all ain't got shit to do tonight, y'all might want to figure it out. Because you're going to be out of commission for a little bit. 1,600 crystals for 400 mystic metals. Hmm.
50 bucks for eight summons. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, that's such a ripoff. God damn. What the, what the fuck? Okay. Listen, listen guys, for my F2P people, Molagora is always going to be an issue, guys. Forever. That shit is never going to end. That is what you call content capping. Even pay to win, it's always going to be an issue. Like, it's never not going to not be an issue. <laughs> like, you can buy all the mold, but dude, listen, man. It's never going to change, man. It's never going to change. Uh, listen, man. I'm a, listen, I'm going to help, help, help free up some stress in your life. All right, when it comes to E7. Don't try to control what happens in E7. Just roll with what they give you and make the best of it. That's it, man. Don't expect shit because everything can go wrong. You, you could be, you can get the best piece of gear in the game tomorrow, or you can't get, or you might not get it for ten years. But like, listen, man, just gotta relax. Otherwise, you you will ruin your life. <laughs> Fake with the ten dollar dono says, please do PVP, D. I said, I can't, man. It's against my religion. Gasha. Gasha never changes. Fallout reference, Vikram? Uh, no, I haven't seen the Unreal Engine 5. Man, I gotta, I'm gonna have to check that out though. I mean, listen man, there's a lot of stuff Epic 7 should have did. I mean, we should have gotten full energy refills like a year ago, 10 years ago. But that shit is not gonna happen. Cause people just gonna keep spending money. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh, E7 on Unreal 4 would be crazy. Or could you imagine anime style games on Unreal Engine 4 or Unreal Engine 5? I haven't seen UE5 yet, but um, yo, it's going to be nuts. War. War never changes. Looking. Dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. Can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. I just love your flashy ways. This is why they're broken. You're so paid. I recently pulled bike and however, never pulled torn sleeve. What artifact would you recommend instead? RNL, bro. RNL. They have a bandy, a bandy anime game. Banda, bandy, bandai. That bandy, bambi game. I rather see an increase. Can you see my Alexa? You sure can. Uh, six star water. Bam. Water, 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 water. Alexa. Are you ready? Biggie, 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 can't you see? Sometimes the words just hypnotize me. And I just love your flashy ways. This is why they're broken. You're so paid. I'm gonna do my nine summons real quick, though. I'm gonna see if I can get a biking artifact. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. There we go. Boom. Torn sleeve. This 
It's like magic, y'all. I'm telling y'all. It's like fucking magic. Boom. Got one. All right, I'm done. I'm done. Judge me. <laughs> I'm still gonna get a dog, like. Listen, guys, it's just detachment from outcome. That's all it is. <clears throat> you should play second. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna get super clapped. <laughs> like, like I said, man, y'all hang out here, man. Y'all get the heroes and they, whatever you need, man. <laughs> this is the luxury. Uh, do I think ML Tywin? I think ML Tywin definitely needs some help, for sure. He definitely needs some help. <laughs> ML Tywin needs some some serious love. I was kind of like laughing because like um, I pull ML Tywin, but I just can't get regular Tywin for the life of me. So, so now we got 20. So that gives us another transmit stone, and then the rest will go to Elfelt. And then, um. And then we get one more transmit stone. I think I think we should have enough, right? 10, 20? Yeah, yeah. And then we'll have another ML. So we'll have two ML, two ML pools, Elfelt, and Mystics to do today. I think it's going to be a nice little summer session. Nah, don't spin it right now, man. Don't spin it right now. I, listen, <laughs> I'm just being risque because, you know, the outcome doesn't matter to me. But if the outcome matters to you, like, you should just hold. <laughs> just, just hold. So. Uh -uh. uh, Elfos not driving for, like, another uh, 10 hours. 10 hours, 40 minutes. Uh, Yeah, Diego, absolutely. Yes. Oh, that Fallen CC session pissed me off, dog. I uh, literally, uh, shit you not, three a few days later after dropping like four hundo on Fallen CC, I pulled her uh, off my daily, dude. <laughs> I was, uh, I think I think that was the straw that broke the camel's back right there. <laughs> I was at that point, I was just like, fuck this. Um, but then uh, the ML, the Little Queen Charlotte session and six summons, yo, that was. <laughs> That was nuts. Uh, thank you, Kimmy Muhammad. Appreciate the love, man. Idol's Chair Artifact? Yeah, I de if you don't have one, I'd definitely get yourself Idol's Chair, Eduardo. Uh, Julian, something, what up, man? Here, I'm, I'm going to show you that Fallen CC, too. She, she's right, right where she belongs. I pulled S10A on my 199th pulls. Was salty. Oh god, that's rough, dude. At that point, I feel like they should have just let you go pity. Oh god, that's so disgusting. Uh, Said his name's Lamar. <laughs> Lamar the Dragon, Tyrone. Get at least one idol's cheer if you don't have it yet. Very helpful artifact. Did you Mola, Alexa, and TG? Uh, I mean, Stigma. I Stigma TG for sure. Uh, Alexa got a little bit. I just don't have enough Stigma. Because I don't play enough. Cigarette good? Yeah, absolutely, dude. Uh, 
Biggie, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. Oh, man. Yeah, dude, listen, guys. ML summons get expensive really, really fast. Like, for real. Like if you if you if you look at it from top down, it's seven hundred bucks per hero. If you guys go in full pity and you and you don't and you don't get lucky or whatever, like it's oh, rough. Is that something engraved in your soul now, Sebastian? I'm telling y'all, man, listen, detachment from outcome, man. Makes this game so much easier to deal with, man. SSB was the first unit I'd max. Oh, look. Attack percent, speed. That's trash. Can I buy another piece of arena gear? Conquest points. I can. I might be able to buy a couple of them. Go, go, power. What's the season's gear? Destruction? Mm, what am I missing? Oh, I ain't buying that shit. What about this hit gear? Speed, FRS. I kind of want to roll that chest piece. Health, speed, defense. That ring's not bad either. And I'll just get one of the current shits. What is this? Attack, speed, crit, effect resistance, crit chance, crit damage. Uh, yeah. Go, go, Power Rangers. You might need more. All right, uh, let's get the ring too. No, no, no. Let's get the uh, boots, helm, chest. Yeah, let's go to the jewels. Go, go, Power Rangers. All right, uh, let's see what we got here. Go, go, Power. Ooh, defense. Yes. Oh, there we go. That's a speed roll. Crit chance? More speed? Can I get a, one more speed roll? <laughs> when it doesn't work out. Find out next time. On DK live stream. Thank you. That was not bad. It's a decent piece of gear. <coughs> Yeah, that ring that ring is super awkward. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, listen. I'm gonna get the hell up out of here. Uh, I'm gonna do some Epic Seven. I mean just kidding. Some uh, Genshin Impact a little later. Cause I got an announcement to make. Unofficially. Officially but unofficially. And uh I will uh See y'all in the next one. I will probably stream either in the morning or like when I wake up tomorrow after I work out. Um, and then we'll do summons. Actually, wait. Tomorrow's daddy-daughter day. So actually, I won't see y'all till... Fuck. I might see y'all in the morning then. Like 5 a.m., 4 a.m. So yeah. All right, man. Love y'all. Peace.